Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's episode with Simple Coding Style with Steph, I will show you how to create this window and insert labels like this and this entry fields where you're going to just include your name like this and let's say H like this as well. And I'm also going to show you how to put your window to a default value where a user would not be able to resize this window. All right. So please, before I proceed, do not forget to click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. That's the tiny thumb. <laughs> and comment and also subscribe to my channel for the latest videos on Python development. Thank you. Okay, so now let's start by creating our window. But before that, I think we should rename this mini project to or mini lesson. Uh, we're just going to rename this to um, inserting label and entry fields. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say insert. Insert underscore label underscore entry fields. Right, so that should do. Okay, so before we start, we will have to import Kinter module. All of Kinter. So Kinter imports all of them. And we proceed to create a window. So I'm going to call my window root. Root is going to be the Kinta window. And now for the continuous looping, we're going to use our loop here. Root.main loop. So this is going to help our window to continue continually loop when we want to view something on the screen. Alright, so that is created. Let's run this to view our window. Okay, so that is it. But we are not quite okay with this size. So we're just going to give our window a size. And the name of our window here is roots.geometry. So this geometry widget is basically to resize your window. Okay, so I'm going to start with the width. The width. So the width size I would love to use here, I'm going to use 100. And for the height, um, let me say height should be 400 and for my X axis I'm going to say 90 then for the Y axis 90 as well okay so let's see this run that all right so that is okay but I think I should I see few in need to expand this a little so I should work on my width all right so here is my width. I'm going to use 600. Okay, so let me run this again. All right, so now I'm okay with this. Now, next is to insert our label and entry fields. Okay, so our label is basically an identification of a certain thing. So if you want to identify a certain thing, you use a label widget. So I'm going to say the name of this label is going to be a name and it's going to be a label and this label is going to be on my root and the text that is going to be on this label is going to be a name. Okay, so that is it and I will want this name to be placed somewhere around on my window. So I'm going to say from the X axis. I'm just going to put 10. Okay, I'm still going to readjust all of them. Then for the y axis, mm, let me just say, uh, I'm just going to say 150. Let's see how that works. All right, so let me run this. Okay, so there it is. But I'm quite not okay with that. I'm still going to work on that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's work on the font. So the font for this, I'm going to 
give it the font name. So Calibre is going to be the font name. And the size, I'm just going to use 22. And I want it to be bold. Okay. Let's run this and see. All right, so that's okay. Um, okay, we we okay with black, but she use a brighter color. Okay, so let me give that font a color. So the font ground is going to be, um, let's say red. Run this. All right, so that is it. But I think this is way too low. So for my x axis is way too low. I'm just simply going to subtract a little from that so we can go higher. So this is my y axis. Let me just leave this at 100. I'll run this. Okay, so that's perfectly okay. All right, so for the next is going to be our entry field. So that's basically the entry field that goes with the name. So that's where you're going to impute your name. So this entry field is going to be name entry. Just simply going to call it that so we can always remember. The name entry is going to be an entry. It's going to be an entry. And this entry field is definitely going to be on our roots. I would want to work on the width of the entry field. So the width, I'm just going to use 10. Then for, mm, let's say my border. Okay, I'm just going to use five for the border. Okay, so let me run this so we can just see the process. Okay, so this is not going to show yet because I haven't placed this entry field in a certain place on the window, but let me place that before we start doing readjustments. So name entry dot place. Okay, from my X axis, I'm going to say it has to be far away from the name label. So I'm going to use, uh, let me say 200. And for the Y axis, we're still going to maintain the 100 because it has to be on the same line with the name entry. So this is going to be 100. Let's run this. All right, so that's okay, but we'll work on the width. Okay, let's run this again to confirm. All right, so this is going to be our, um, this just not yet okay. It has to be on the same line with the name. It seems the entry field is a little bit higher. But we're just going to bring it down a little and expand the entry field as well. So this is where we're going to work on our width. So for the width, I'm going to increase this to... 20. All right, so let's run this to confirm again. Okay, but that's still small. Uh, let me give it an extra 10 again 30. And uh, for the y axis, I'm going to give this 10. All right, okay, so now we're on the same line. Uh, what next? So we're just going to give this. Uh, border width right. so this is just the axis of the border this is just that's basically what this border width does okay so let me see I'm just gonna say 10 let's run this all right so there it is did you get the difference so let me take this out again so we can see the difference in the border width okay so there it is all right, so when you include the border width, it makes the border a little bit more pronounced. Okay. So let me run this. All right, so there it is. I still feel there's a need to expand this width a little bit more. So just call this 50 and increase this. Okay, perfect. Uh, perfect. So I think uh, for the name, our uh, name should come further a little bit. Okay, and I think I should increase the name a little bit more. All right. So there it is. And uh, for the um, name label, I think I should bring this further and put it to here. And I run this. Okay. Perfect. That's it. So now we have a name and. Uh, 
name entry field. So let's just play around with one more. So one more, I'm going to say the next one is going to be an age label. I'm going to call it LBL, short for label. And definitely is the label. And we all know that our label has to be in our root window. And uh, the text on our on this label is going to be age. Okay. So for the font, we're just going to simply use the same as the other. So for the font, we're just going to say Calibra. Okay, same 29. And I'm um, going to make this bold. Okay. And for the font color, just going to say red. So you can decide to use any color of your choice. That is the widget for that. Okay, so for the placement, so now we we'll have to place this H um, label somewhere on the window. So this is where we're going to use our place widgets. So we're simply going to call the name of the label, and the label is H LBL dot place. And where would we want this to be from the x axis? Um, let's look at the previous one. So for the previous one, we use 50. Okay, so we're just going to repeat the same 50. But for the x axis, it's going to be different. Okay, so for the x axis, let's look at this. If this is 110, hmm, then I think we should maybe give the next one uh, 160 or 150. Let's just use a 160 here. Let's see how this is going to work. Run this. Okay. Okay. Sorry, this was hungry. All right. I think the place, the space difference is okay. All right. So that is done here. So now we're going to insert our entry. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay. And edit. Copy and take this away and paste this over here. Okay, so this is going to change.
in order for you to maintain the size of this window and for users not to keep on expanding the window the way you have left it okay so if you want to maintain the exact size you're simply going to um, call the name of your window and pass in a force uh, hold on uh, just the size then make this force so I'm just going to simply call the X and the Y axis to be force or you can also just say zero put them to zero okay so this is just going to keep this on the default size that you have created for this window so you can see there's no room for expansion again because i have put given this a default size and this is what how it's going to be but if you take this away then it means that you have given a user the freedom to resize the window however he or she wants okay so that is it for inserting windows um, for a certain um, label and entry fields okay so I've shown you this part okay so if there is any other thing that you that you're confused about please do not forget to post that on the comment section all right please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you very much and I hope to see you next time bye, -bye.